Hello and welcome back to Real Opinions. Today I am on my own uh, reviewing the second best exotic Marigold Hotel because none of the other bastards could be bothered to go and see it. <laughs> Not just that, but because our student union like us, we got a pass to an exclusive gala screening that our university showed. Uh, so thank you to Megan Downing for that. That was wonderful. But because we only got one pass, I had to go in on my own. Um, so it was me and a room full of old people, all in tuxedos, but it meant I got to see the film before, so now I have a review. Um, uh, the plot basically, I should probably state now that, feel free to stop watching this review now if you find this offensive, but I haven't seen the first one, so I can't really compare it to the first one. I'm told it's relatively similar in tone and feel, but, but. Uh, the plot basically revolves around... Sonny, who's played by Dev Patel, who is kind of the owner of the best exotic Marigold Hotel, a hotel in India where a bunch of old people have decided to retire to. The old people include Judy Dench, Bill Nye, Maggie Smith, Celia Emery, and a bunch of other people. Um, and they're all kind of having this nice little existence being retired in India. And then uh, this film kind of, I'm assuming, picks up where the last one left off and Sonny is trying to kind of open a chain of hotels across India um, with a similar idea that people can come and retire to it. And it was a really lucrative business. And this one is kind of about that, uh, about all the conflicts that arise because of that, and the whole idea that he's going to get married soon and the whole traditional Indian wedding thing going on. Um, and I guess madness and comedy ensues. And it is a really, really sweet film. There's a lot of kind of very kind of dramatic philosophical wisdom speeches where they all talk about the meaning of life and how like love and all that jazz and it's it's cute it's really kind of sweet and endearing and there are some really good jokes a couple of the jokes were kind of spoiled for me because before the film started they showed like two extended featurettes about the film that gave away a lot of the best jokes but they are funny um they're kind of multi-generational as well there's a lot of kind of like jokes about old people taking the piss out of being old which I guess is just part of what the appeal of the film is but they do get a bit old at some point um, but for the most part it's quite consistent in how funny it is and it's above all it's charming like it really it gets you you really feel you're like you're behind the characters a lot of the time uh, there are a few kind of new actors in it as well Richard Gere shows up which kind of works, but he just plays Richard Gere. It's, there's, this isn't the sort of film that's going to push any boundaries. There's no kind of like genre-bending moments or anything like that. It's just kind of a sweet, endearing little comedy that most people will enjoy. So, uh, yeah, that's the best exotic... The second best exotic Marigold Hotel. Um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a solid film. There will be better comedies out there, but there will be significantly worse comedies out there. Um, so yeah.